We're at Kitchiri Kippi. What did you say, Kitchiri Kippi? What? Kitchiri Kippi. Kitchiri Kippi. Yeah, that's a tough one. We'll show you guys. You tell us what you think it is. We're gonna find out too. We're gonna ask somebody who knows. So it's 9.33. We're hoping to come early so we didn't have to share the raft with too many people. And I, I don't know what, maybe seven cars in the parking lot. Should be fun. This is Palms Book State Park in Michigan. This is where this is at, the spring is at. The big spring, they call it. We got good news. We actually got a spot at the Maumee State Park in Ohio. Um, they had plenty of electric sites, but we were really hoping for a full hookup. You know, all I can say is diligence. Is just be diligent, right? I mean, we logged in at like seven o'clock this morning and we got a spot and then there were no weekend spots where our son is at Alum Creek in Ohio. And we're diligent and we got a spot on the weekend. Stan saw it, boom, we grabbed it. We're gonna have to move spots, but we're in. So that's gonna be awesome for five well, nights. Looks like the crowd just docked here, so oh, we're gonna be able to go on it. Oh, cool. So that, I yeah, see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, other people had the thought too to get here early. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Kitchity Kippy means big spring. It was discovered in the 1920s by a local five and dime store owner. He wanted everyone to be able to enjoy the spring for years to come, so he convinced the land owners at the time to sell 90 acres surrounding the spring to the state of Michigan for $10. The Palms Book State Park now covers nearly 388 acres. Here are a couple of fun facts about Kitchity Kippy. It's become one of Michigan's most popular attractions welcoming 60,000 visitors a year. It is the largest natural freshwater spring in Michigan and is 40 feet deep and 200 feet across. The water temperature is at a constant 45 degrees and it rarely freezes in the winter. It is home to large lake trout, brown trout, and brook trout. But you fishermen are just gonna have to dream because there is no fishing allowed. We suggest to get there early to avoid the crowds. Oh, and the park and raft are pet friendly but the raft can get pretty crowded, so you might want to consider leaving your pup on shore. It's a line. It's still going. We timed it pretty good. Pretty big line now. Kitchity Kippy. Kitchen tea. Kitchen tea, Kippy. Kitchen tea, Kitchen tea, Kippy. I'm saying it because I'm. Kitchen tea. Kitchen tea, Kippy. Pippy and Pippy Long Stocking. We asked, that's what they said. Kitchen tea. Because I was saying Kitchen tea, Kippy. Kitchen tea. Got it. Got it? It was about 45 minutes from Unising, which is Munising's, you know, the north of the UP, northern UP. Uh, we had decided not to because we knew we were going to come back through here and stay. The, yeah, definitely would be worth, the only thing it cost us was the entry into the state park, which we already have the Michigan Recreation Pass. I think that was a good move to get the the state pass because mm -hmm. we use so so many state parks to stay here. And there's pros and cons about staying at a state park. You know, the pros, it's beautiful, a lot of room, but you know, you've got to you know do your business, dump and all that, and mm. that takes more time. But other than that, yeah, and you usually had people waiting for you. Whatever. Yeah, you know, you don't usually like, I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you, uh, 
do you feel uh, rushed when somebody's waiting behind you and they're holding their hose? I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> well, what was that deal? That guy had another open sewer. Well, he hadn't. He could have just gone to the open sewer, but he decided to park by me and hold his hose. I go, if you just back up a little, you could just dump right there. And I don't know what he was thinking. And then late, he decided that he was going to use the other one now, which he should have done in the first place, and almost backed up over his hose. You know, I felt bad for the guy, you know. He yeah. just, you, you could tell he, he he's had some issues or whatever, but. He might have been a little flustered just his day. Maybe he didn't even see the other dump, you know. I go, you, you almost ran over your, the top of your hose and he would have broken it and then he would have been done. He goes, well, I like living dangerously. I go, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, running over your poop hose is living dangerously? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that doesn't compute. <laughs> You're just basically putting yourself out of business. And and so those kind of things, let me know how you guys feel. Because I, I, I don't like when people are waiting on me. I try to move as fast as I possibly can. And, but then, of course, I make sure that I try to clean everything out the way it needs to be cleaned out. Because, you know, with the way, especially the black tag things, you know, if, if it doesn't get cleaned out right, you know, it just causes problems. So, anyway, other than that, you can't beat being in a state park. And I would tell you, that's the way to do it. State parks? State yeah, parks. Yeah, buy the pass. Buy the pass. And then just seek out the state parks. Yes. The state park campgrounds. Yes. Yeah. And, you know people make those reservations six months in advance in fact I think the guy's jaw nearly fell down when he goes oh you got a great site and I said yeah we just made this reservation yesterday and he's like uh, well you know the, with this site here yeah. he was he was blown away so um, they are crowd I mean they've been very crowded the, the, the sites or the spots the campgrounds uh, we're kind of surprised people are still camping going yeah, hard people going hard in the fall yeah, today's September but 24th. I'm not surprised by the campground uh, getting spots because the good Lord just yeah, he, leads the way. Oh, yeah. Today we shared, you know, we got those spots. I was shocked. And the one site, you know, Stan has said before seven to him is complete. And biblically, that's where, you know, we, we why we say that is because that's what we feel is, you know, number seven, seven days, you know, God created the heavens and the earth and then rested on that seventh day so anyway my point being is the site number is seven so it was the first thing this morning that I saw a site open full hookups at mommy state park and I was like wait a minute is this is this right so we got that um, yeah you know we're gonna be honest like Manistique um, the we went yesterday and we checked it out and into the town and we're, I, I don't know if it's sometimes you come from such great things you've seen and done and experienced and then you, you there's a little maybe let down. We're not sure. We're kind of still waiting for this like aha moment and a ooh ah moment. Maybe that's more like it and we just haven't had it here. Look at that. Wow, what a blessing. We wanted to have a fire tonight. Gosh, we saw bundles for like eight bucks. This is so cool. So we'll grab a few pieces. That is so awesome. I'm excited. You know, we go, 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 and it's not often we just sit and enjoy a fire and rest. And uh, I think this is just a sign that we need to take a breather. Awesome. So I'm taking some pictures. It's travel day. Um, I like to put pictures on, and anybody can do this. You could do a Google review. We put ours on the RV Life, which is like the Trip Wizard. So when we use Trip Wizard, we really value the comments that people make about places and look at those. And and then you can put tips and things to visit and things to see and. That's one of the things we really love about Trip Wizard 
it's people out there doing what we're doing and just sharing, you know, their experiences. So uh, this is a great site, site 38, backed up to all of that beauty. Little walking trail back there, not too, too much, but just enough. Um, Molly sure enjoyed the little chipmunk that would come out and say hi and taunt her every day. So she, that's her favorite, favorite thing to do. Stan's getting finished sitting the weight distribution bars on and got our last few little things. Got to get off the board. <laughs> Remember we were a little unlevel, but worked out great. But everybody left like Sunday. Today's, no, everybody, actually, yeah, Sunday morning. So we had all day yesterday, we had this whole, the whole wing to ourselves here. So let's see. So these are set up like um, the little markers are there. Look how big this site is. See the reflection over there? Larry and Michelle own that and we met them last night and Larry was so kind he brought over I guess he used to work at a cherry farm 14 years after 31 years of working for UPS he worked for a cherry farm brought us over some dark chocolate covered cherries oh my goodness and then we ate them while we were talking to him and then he brought us more such a nice man and his wife we got to meet her last night and they actually gave us a tour and it's a 2024 if i can remember right it's a 26 oh it's a rear dining 260 rear dining rd i think really nice and um it's beautiful brand new they've had it i don't even know it's been a month but beautiful beautiful rig they gave us a tour so kind and um it's the 150 series, so something you can tow with a half ton. So, time to say goodbye to the site, 38. If you can see over there, I'm gonna run over. We're gonna look real quick at the, uh, at the Indian Lake. Ready to go? Let's go. sit there, they get out of their car, cross their arms, look at you, stare at you. My poop water is not going to travel down the pipe any faster with you got with you looking at me the whole time. We got to do what we got to do, just stay in your car and just don't worry about it. I mean, I don't like to see anybody's poop rolling down the tube why would you but I just don't I don't I don't get that and uh, it's one thing to step up and have a conversation but to sit there and scowl at you and I'm fast yeah you I'm are fast when it comes to dumping and you know I'm in you know I flush make sure because they've got flush water I make sure I flush until the water's clear and then boom and then I pull my then I pull my gray water I do not pull everything at the same time that is something you just don't do you just pull the black close the black pull the gray and then that automatically washes your hose out with all your soap water you know but it's like they're bothered because you have a big trailer and you've got 90 gallons of, of gray water to, to get out. But, oh my gosh, you know, don't be that person. Just stay in your car, keep your scowls to yourself, and when I do see you scowling with your arms crossed, I'm going to remember to pray for you. Okay, that's enough of my rant. All right, so today is a long travel day. We got about six and a half hours. 
officially leaving Michigan. We came into Michigan on September 1st. So we've been here almost the entire month of September. And we, kind of what we did in South Dakota. Yeah. And, and I love when we can do that and just take time and really enjoy each stop. So I was just noticing, I think Manistique, what they say, it's the welcome to your starting place. Like they say, what's that? Oh, so, I just thought, that's your welcome center and it's almost yeah. shut down. It is shut down. I just think this town was hit very hard and it's sad. It's just sad. It's so beautiful. I think this town was hit hard probably by COVID. I, my guess is all these hotels are just shut down. Every This town is shut down. Yeah, they've got this big casino here, and that's about it. And then they had one really nice grocery store. A lot of the little shops, and I think the downtown area, they're trying. They've got a cute couple little boutiques, but it just, you can tell they're just struggling. So I, I'm, we're just being honest. It's our review. Um, we got a lot done yesterday. We got a video uploaded. We've got laundry done. But Indian Lake is really nice. We that wished campground to, yeah. has got it going on. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It was a great, some great sights. I mean, you could, the way they said you could put your trailer, you could put your trailer across the whole view of the lake if you have a lakefront, like a lot of people did. They put the entrance of their door just to the front of the lake, and it was just that. They wake up, and they have that beautiful view. They block it from everybody else, but it was still pretty, man. And the water just came right up to the, to the shore, so there's really not like beach there that you could go out on the beach that I saw. I mean, there might have been at other locations. And Look at this color. Uh, Look at yeah. this color. It's finally turning. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We were watching the news, and I, I think usually by now this is their peak, but because it's been a little warmer up here, they're thinking by like the first, second week of October. But I, this was really unexpected for me. I don't know why. I didn't think, I didn't even think we were going to see colors, fall foliage, and the changes. I thought that was more like, you know, West Virginia and all that area. So I was really, this whole, you know, time seeing this has just been such a blessing because I did not anticipate this at all. So just so you guys know, I mean, we were super lucky to get out of the porcupines when they did because they just got walloped with a storm going up through there. But this is how different it is. It's storming in the porcupines and it's clear 70 degrees here. Isn't that crazy? And it's only four hours away and the difference in the weather. So, I, I just think that's, and I, I, the Porkies, I think, and and Carpa Harbor, th their colors are shining bright oh, up there. So and just, oh. Yeah. I can't talk, I can't say more about Carpa Harbor. We get to go over the bridge again, yay! All right, here we go. And hey, let me pay for the guy behind me too. All right. You know that guy? No, nope. I don't know him. Okay. God bless. <laughs> 